CataractCoach.com. How to filter triamcinolone acetonide to remove the preservatives and resuspend this in balanced salt solution. Here it is, a brand name bottle of Kenalog, which is 40 milligrams per mil of triamcinolone in a suspension. This has some preservative in it. Here is a filter from BVI, model reference 581030. That's a very nice submicron filter. Here is a bottle of BSS, balanced salt solution. Of course, it's sterile. That's the product from Alcon. And then we have two 5cc syringes. There we go. Everything here is obviously sterile. And two 18-gauge needles because those give you a lot of flow. Now, I have another video on cataractcoach.com. If you look for triamcinolone, you'll see how to just resuspend it in the bottle and take out 90% of the preservatives. This is a method to take out all of them. So we'll get our syringe here. Everything is nice and sterile. Break off the needle here. Now, we're keeping the, the parts of the uh, instruments here, the needle that touches anything important, sterile. Obviously, the outside doesn't need to be sterile. And here's our bottle of BSS. So we'll peel that open, too. This is, again, a sterile irrigating bottle, balanced salt solution. And we're just going to draw some of this up in the syringe. Now, the vial of Kenlog has one milliliter in it. So if you want to just do it one-to-one -one and keep the same strength, drop one cc here of BSS. Or if you want to dilute it down, drop a little bit more. So we'll drop a bunch of it, and we can decide later how much to use. Let's carefully put that needle back on here. So now I've got sterile BSS in the one syringe. Now let's get our other syringe. And on this syringe, we're going to put on that submicron filter, nice and sterilely. And then we'll also put an 18-gauge needle on this. So I'll hold it from the outside. We'll get the tip of this in here, and we'll get that on nice and easy. And I do this myself. You can just buy the Triessence preservative-free product, which is what I normally do in our surgery center. That is $100 for one vial, whereas this catalog is $6 for one vial. So there's a difference. I just like to make my life easy, so I get the preservative-free one, and we just pay the money. But I'm spoiled like that. But I want to show you how to do this because people ask me from all over the world. I can't spend $100 on that. But remember here in the U.S., we're used to getting really <laughs> almost abused on the pricing. When people find out that we pay $66 for Tripan Blue Dye, they're shocked. So here we go. We're aspirating out as much of this as we can. And so you'll look in the syringe. We've pulled out the solution the, the liquid from that bottle, and that's what has the preservatives. All the particles of triamcinolone are still sterile, and they're in that blue filter now. So we'll just take our time, aspirate as much as we can here, and now we've got all the particles in the filter, and you've got this syringe of one cc of the fluid where it was originally suspended, and we're going to throw that fluid away. We don't need it anymore. So there we go. Now we've got a complete removal of the triamcinolone. And now we can get rid of the syringe that's on there right now because that has the original liquid with the preservatives. Throw that away. Now put our BSS. And now we can resuspend these particles in BSS. And again, you can put in one cc if you want the same concentration. If I want less, I can put in two cc's. Then it'll be 20 milligrams per mil. And then that's it. Now you're done. Keep this bottle sterile and you can hand it off or have your technician or scrub tech on the OR field can withdraw some of it very sterilely. And that can be placed now intraocular. Again, this video is for educational purposes. This is an off-label use. Let me show you how I use it in a typical case. At the end of a case here, IOLs in the bag, good-looking Rexus. There you go. That's about a quarter of a milligram of triamcinolone, not much. Swirl that around and that will keep the eye nice and quiet. It'll be a beautifully quiet eye on post-op day one. Check it out and thanks for watching.